In grade two, we're going to do the questions and answers of Granny Granny Comb My Hair. In our notebooks, please. I'm on page 142. Reading is fun. What does the little girl want her granny to do? What does the little girl want her granny to do? The little girl wants her granny to comb her hair. The little girl wants her granny to comb her hair. What does Granny rub on her hair? Granny rubs coconut oil on her hair. Granny rubs coconut oil on her hair. Does the little girl love her granny? Yes, the little girl loves her granny. Yes, the little girl loves her granny. Then let's go to Let's Talk. Do these also in your notebooks. Do your grandparents live with you? Yes, my grandparents live with me. No, my grandparents do not live with me. Do you spend some time with them? Yes, I spend time with them. No, I do not spend time with them. How do you help them? How do you help them? I help them by making them tea and bringing their books to them. I help them by cooking for them. Then you go to let's share. What do you call grandmother in your language? In my language, I call my grandmother Ama. What do you call grandfather in your language? In my language, I call my grandfather Boo Boo. Do you know any old people? Can you name them? Yes, I know many old people. My grandfather, my grandmother, my grand aunt and my grand uncle. How can you make them happy? I can make them happy by listening to them and spending time with them. Have you ever, here's the last question here, have you ever gone out with your grandparents? Yes, I have gone to many places with my grandparents. Then we go on to page 143, word building. Make new words using letters from the word grandparents. You can use them in any order. I'm seeing that they've done rent, but I also see and. I also see uh, sand, S-A-N-D, sand. I can see... You know how I like to do it is write the words in a circle. G. You see where I'm doing this? G, R, yeah. and then A, N, D, P, A, R, E, N, T, S. And that helps me to mix them up. And I can already see stand. I can see stand. I can also see um, part, P-A-R-T, part. I can see add, no, add doesn't work because it's only one D, only one D. Then I can see oh, I can see pad, that's not much fun. I can see sad, S-A-D, sad. I can see rat, R-A-T, rat, sat, S-A-T, sat, okay? So you're going to have to find the words and you can write them down. Do this in your notebook if you want me to check it. I do not check textbooks. Then we come to the exercise down here. You always want English grammar and English grammar is a very big part of speaking English or writing English correctly. These are pronouns, remember them? Mina is playing with a doll. She is a girl. Ram is climbing a tree. He is a boy. Do not eat that mango. It is not ripe. In your notebooks, please. Then we move on to the next page. Let's write. Let us write in English. 144 in your notebook. Suppose you go to live with your grandparents or stay with them for a week. Make a list of the things you would like to take with you for them. Don't forget to put a, an, or the. Yes, very important. Don't write food. Chocolate. Okay? So put 
I would like to take for my grandparents a bottle of hair oil, um, the newspaper, um, a basket of fruit. Um, what else would I like to take of my grandparents? A new sari from my grandmother. Mm, what else? A watch for my grandfather as a gift. Then... Um, some sweets. Okay, then you don't put a, an, or the, because I'm not taking them a sweet. I'm taking them many sweets, some sweets. So make this list in your notebooks if you want me to check it okay I'm not going to be able to check it unless you put it in your notebooks then we have fun time here and you can make a card if you want to do that exercise you can on page 145 and draw a hat for Mina's grandfather mustache and all that it's a coloring and drawing exercise that you can do in the book and we come then to page 146, a family picnic scene. Give names to all the people and make sentences using phrases in the box. Which box? The box on the opposite page. You may, I would love it if you did this because English is not about just reading and copying what is written, but being able to write your own sentences. So... Let's take a look at that box together. Here it is. Eating food together, picking up wrappers or waste paper, serving food, playing football, talking to elderly people, fishing with grandfather. I'm just going to try to use them. You may listen to this again and write it down in your notebooks if you want me to check it. One day, my whole family went for a picnic. We had a lot of fun eating food together. After we had eaten, some of us picked up wrappers and waste papers so that the place would remain clean. My mother was busy the whole time serving food to all of us. My brother didn't do anything with us. He was busy playing football. I spent a lot of time talking to the elderly people in my family my little brother went fishing with grandfather. It was a day I will never forget. See how I did that? Of course you can do it your own way and ask me if you need my help to say something correctly in English.